In our inaugural Sea Change magazine series on social entrepreneurs, we speak with Bruce Poon Tip, founder of G Adventures. Established in 1990, the company has passionately carved a reputation as a pioneering world leader in adventure travel with an unyielding dedication to sustainable tourism and community development. Why, if I'm taking a trip and I have a choice of who to go with, um, you know, I, why would I care about a, going with a company that has a dedication to this type of thing instead of, you know, another company that... Um, I think it's all about personal integrity. I think that, um, you know, people have changed the way they live their lives at home. I don't know why you should suspend those feelings and beliefs when you go on vacation. They seem to think that that's okay, and I argue that fact. Um, you know, people will recycle at home. It's become very easy for us to just push our trash at the end of our, our curb and it just disappears and goes into the recycling gods. And everyone thinks that that's great. And then you change, you know, your light bulb to have low light bulbs in your house. And you uh, you buy a new house and you're, wow, it's got low, you know, low flush toilets. And you're, you think you're, but then you go decide to go on holiday and you see a, something that's cheap for four ninety nine, And they go to these massive compound resorts. Um, and never leave the resort. No one ever sees a penny of their, their, their vacation money. Yet they, and they are motivated by drinking and eating as much as possible over the course of a week, um, getting it for cheap as possible, and not caring at all um, that you know, local people aren't benefiting from their, the fact that they're, go, they're you know, on vacation. Yeah, so when you um, decide to travel to one particular region. Mm -hmm. um, do you often initiate contact with communities there yes. first? Okay. Yeah, that's really the, the most important step that often goes awry right. with other tour operators. It's, right. It's being in, in, in a dialogue with community and understanding the relationship and creating that relationship prior to kind of coming into a region saying, okay, we're going to build here right. and then you're going to you're going to work here, you're going to sacrifice your resources and not benefit. But, but I mean, ultimately, it's about creating that dialogue and that long term relationship. Okay. So, you can give, you know, our motivation is to give people authentic experiences and to, to as authentic as we can create. And you, in order to do that, we have to have that relationship with local communities. To further enhance the company's seminal commitment to sustainable tourism, in 2003, Poon Tip created the Plantera Foundation. With the aim of supporting communities in the areas of education, healthcare, environment, and social development, the initiative today boasts close to 40 projects worldwide, including eye centers in Cambodia and Tibet, a rehab program for sex trade workers in Asia, a women's weaving co-op in Latin America, and water programs in Africa. And do travelers take part in any of these initiatives? No. Okay. Um, a lot of them are centered around, like our New Hope, in Cambodia, takes um, you know sex trade workers and actually gives them skills on how to. Um, and we have a restaurant. All of our groups go into the community and, and uh, they teach them skills about how to enter the, the food and beverage industry. And they, we have a restaurant set up that all of our groups go to. The Women's Weaving Co-op is another one that they teach their younger and older generation how to weave and they preserve their culture. And our groups get to go in and consume all the products. Um, and then we have a lot that aren't, like, I mean, our Street Kids Home in Peru is, yeah. and some of our other programs aren't suitable for having mass visitors. Right. Um, we, we just opened, um, just last week, we opened um, Planetera Foundation, opened the Planetera, a library in Egypt. And so that will be, a, it's in, right in Luxor. Wow. And it's an area where our, our, we're going to encourage our, our customers and travelers to bring old books at their house. And when they're on tour with us, they'll be able to visit the library and donate books for the, for the kids in that region. That's amazing. And, and just looking forward, anything that's going to make any changes? Or are you continuing this vein and any new things coming out that you want Lots to... Lots of new stuff coming yeah? out. Yeah? Yeah, I think, I mean, I, I think we've only just begun to scratch the surface, honestly, in what we can do. Um, and, and it's because I, we can afford to do more. I mean, it's funny because people criticize us because we've become so big, um, but it allows us to do way more. Sure. We have more flexibility to um, get better people. Um, you know, we have some of the best people in the world working for this company now. I mean, and you know, the team that my executive team, my core team around the world, really challenges me for the first time. And you know, when you build a company from nothing, from credit cards, you know, you often make decisions on what you can afford as opposed to what's best for the business. Mm -hmm. And that ha that has long-term effects um, on, on a business over time. Sure. But as you get to you know, so you, when you get to that tipping point where you're you know, you have the ability to do some pretty incredible stuff. 
I mean, I'm having the best time of my life. I'm working the hardest I've ever worked in the last 22 years, but at the same time having way more fun because we can do, we can have much bigger impact. And we're on a world stage. When we did like the Women's Weaving Co-op in 2004, people could care less, right? Now I have like the World Bank and the IDB um, wanting to study it and go see it. And, Great. you know, and that, that, big, that you know, bigger playing field allows us to have much greater impact and have a serious impact on sustainability and the way people look at travel.